Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17 and previously I didn't want to do a Optifine video because Optifine was not that stable at that time. Uh, we were using the preview builds and shaders were just not working with Optifine. However, recently there has been an update for the preview build of Optifine and the shader packs are now working. Previously, they were showing some torches through the buildings and some other artifacts that was happening when using shader packs with Optifine. And now with version 1.17, Optifine is working. And as you can see, I am running a shader pack as well. So let me just show you. If you look on the top left there, I am using Minecraft version 1.17 alongside Optifine preview version 24 and the shader pack i am using right now let me just show you that as well i'm using seuss renewed version 1.0.1 so what i'm going to do today guys i'm going to show you some of the gameplay from the shader pack alongside optifine and i'm going to show you the seuss renewed shaders as well as the bsl shaders which are also very popular and then i'm going to show you how to download and install optifine and how to download and install these shaders as well for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. Unfortunately, Forge still does not work with Optifine, so bear that in mind. If you do want to install mods, then you would have to use Fabric, which is not also going to work with this. Uh, if you do want to install some mods, do make sure that you check out my channel. I have done a few mod videos there for Minecraft Java 1.17. Okay, so as you can see, I am using the Seuss Renewed shader pack at the moment and everything just looks amazing the sky looks really nice i really like the shader because it's quite a smooth shader pack as well it's not that resource heavy so it should run on a medium to high system as well and if we have a look at my fps you can see i am getting somewhere between 70 to 100 fps there as you can see and the best thing I like about this shader is the water. I do like the water effects and the sun as well. In the other shader packs, I've noticed that the sun sometimes can be different. It can be squared and the reflection is different to what the sun looks like in the sky. But this one is really nice. And I really like that water. If you guys can see, it's got the ripples there coming in. It looks so realistic as well. It looks really cool. As you can see there. Alright, now I'm going to switch to a BSL shaders, which is also another cool shader pack, which a lot of people know about and use. And it's really popular as well. It's one of my top three shaders. I do like using this one alongside Silders as well. And as you can see, this one looks slightly different to Seuss that we were running before. Obviously the water is different as well. This one, I do like the fog effects that are happening as well as the lens flare that's coming off the sun, if you can see that. And as you can see, we've got the traditional shadows there and the water reflections. And you can also see the sun's reflection coming in as well. Look at that. Looks really nice. And then we've got the normal moving clouds as well. It's cool. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Optifine. The latest preview build, which is version 24 as of today's date. So I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Optifine for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17 and then I'm also going to show you now how to download and then install the Seuss Renewed Shader and how to download and install the BSL shaders for Optifine on Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. Alright so the first thing you need to make sure is that you've got the latest release of Minecraft installed and you've updated it, you've connected online as you can see, I've got the latest release here, which is 1.17 on my system. So let's close that down. The next thing we need to do is if we open up our internet browser, 
we need to download Java because we're going to use Java to actually install the Optifine for Minecraft 1.17. So if we go to java.com, click on Java download, click on agree and start free download, it should start downloading. And I'm going to open up the file. I'm going to wait for that to load up and I'm going to click on install. Even though I have it installed, I'm going to install it again and wait for that to finish installing. All right, so as you guys can see, it's giving me a message that says you have successfully installed Java. So I do know that my Java is now up to date. And the good thing is that I can now download Optifine and use the installer for it and install it for Minecraft Java 1.17 without any problem. So let's click on close. Let's open up our internet browser again. Just type in Minecraft Optifine. And it's going to be the first link. Normally it's this one, which is uh, Optifine.net, which is the main website. So let's click on that. Let's go to the download section. Now, if we have a look here, we've got Minecraft version 1.16.5. And this is the normal release for Optifine. And Forge obviously is supported with this. But with the version of Minecraft 1.17, at the moment, we only have the preview versions. And we only have this version here, which was released a few days ago, which is pre-24. Now, if I click on the change log, you can see that they have done a few fixes to the shaders as well, because the one, the version previous to this was not working properly, but this one is. But unfortunately, it's still not compatible with Forge, so do bear that in mind. Okay, so if we go to the preview version, let's just click on uh, one of these download links here and click on download to start downloading it. And as you can see, it's finished downloading. It's just doing a uh, final checks there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and download the shaders as well. So let's start off with the Seuss Renewed shaders. So let me start typing in Seuss Renewed. And it's gonna be this link here, which is the sonicether.com link. So let's click on that and then Seuss and then Downloads. And the file we need to get is this one, which is Seuss Renewed 1.0.1. Click on Download and then click on Download again. It should start downloading a zip file, so just wait for that to finish. All right, so as you can see, it's finished downloading. Now I'm gonna close this down. I'm gonna go search for a BSL shaders as well. I'm gonna start typing in BSL shaders. And the link we need to take is this one, which is bitslab lab.com which is the author's main website so obviously we know we're going to get the latest update of bsl shaders from here so let's click on that uh, let's click on download uh, we, the version we need to get is this one which is bsl version 8.0.01 so let's click on download for that it's going to take us to the curse forge website it's going to start downloading the zip file so let's wait for that to finish all right so as you can see these three files have finished downloading. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to place them on my desktop so it's easier to show you guys what to do next. All right, so as you can see, I've put the files on my desktop there and I've got the Optifine installer and then the two shaders that I showed you earlier. Now to install Optifine, all you need to do, just right click on this, click on where it says open with and select Java platform SE binary. And this is going to be made very easy thanks to installing Java, which we did earlier. So let's click on this and it'll give you an option to install Optifine to the default Minecraft directory. So just click on install and it should take a few seconds and it'll say Optifine is successfully installed. So just click on OK and then close that down. Let's move this out of the way. Now we do have these two files. We do need to place them in the shader packs folder. If you're running Optifine for the first time, what I do recommend is if you open up the Minecraft launcher, first of all, just make sure that Optifine is selected there. So you can see in the bottom drop down here. I've got Optifine selected here. And if I go to installations as well, I've got Optifine here as well. So if you just want to click on play and this is going to launch Minecraft with Optifine. Let's wait for this to finish loading. All right, now if you wanna click on options and then go to video settings, you will now notice that there is a button here that says shaders, so click on that and we'll see this section here 
Now, what you want to do, you want to click on this button here, which says shaders folder, which should open up the shaders folder. You need to place the shader packs in. And as you can see, it's opened up the, the folder where I need to put the, the files. So let me just make that smaller. Now I can go to my desktop and put these two files in this shader packs folder. Now you can obviously just go to the main Minecraft directory and just create a brand new folder and call it shader packs. But using this way, make sure that the folder has been created. And let's close this. Let's go back to the Minecraft game. Click on done. Let's click on shaders again. Now you can see that we've got BSL and Zeus Renewed showing on there. So let me just select Zeus Renewed for now. All right, so I can now go ahead and create a new world. So let's just go for survival, normal difficulty, create a new world. And the good thing is that it'll automatically use the shader pack, which we've just downloaded and installed. As you guys can see, it's loaded the game using Zeus Renewed Shaders. It's really cool. It looks really nice as well. I do like the shader pack. Look at that sun in the background there coming in. It looks so nice. And then we've got the water there as well, as you can see. Look at that. All right, let's switch to uh, BSL shaders as well. So let's go to video settings, shaders, click on BSL. And the good thing is that you can actually do this in game as well. You don't have to log out and log back in. Let's click on done. There we go. And then another nice shader pack here. You can see the sun's rays coming in. This is where BSL also shines, it's with the sun's rays and the lens flares you can see there. And the water looks nice as well. And then we've got the, the shadows, as you can see. So yeah, hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any comments or queries or questions about the shader packs or the Optifine installation process, do leave them in the comment section below. And also do leave a comment below on what is your favorite shader pack. What shader pack do you like to use when you like to play Minecraft? And please also do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.